John chapter 15 verses 26 and 27, and chapter 16 verses 12 to 15. The Spirit of Truth will guide you to all the truth, Jesus said to his disciples, when the Advocate comes whom, I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth that proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. To me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of Truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine, for this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Today we celebrate Pentecost, in the Jewish faith it was called the Feast of the Harvest. We look at Pentecost as the end of the Easter season and the birth of the Church. It was the time when the Holy Spirit changed the Apostles from a band of frightened men to the champions of faith, that left the upper room with the mission to preach to the world. It's easy for us to overlook the importance of the Holy Spirit in our present day lives. The Holy Spirit is best seen, seen in the present day life of prophets, popes, miraculous healings in our own personal lives. When we are baptized, we are given the power of the Holy Spirit which gives us the courage to say no to negative influences that come our way. When you are about to sin, don't you feel that twinge of shame? Don't you know what you are about to do is wrong? Those feelings come from the Holy Spirit who lives within you. 1 John chapter 4 verse 4, You belong to God children, and you have conquered them, for the one who is in you, is greater than the one who is in the world. For the one who is in you is, the Holy Spirit, who, who is greater than the one who is in the world, the devil. Pope St. Leo, 400-461, tells us the Spirit hovered over the waters in Genesis, the Spirit spoke through the prophets, and Jesus was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. The gift of the Holy Spirit means that God isn't just an interloper, who stops into our lives on occasion, but He is with us always, to the end of time. The Holy Spirit is our personal link to what is truthful and right, and is God's Easter gift to the Church. The gift of the Holy Spirit isn't just given to the rich and famous, but to each and every Christian. Fear of God, piety, knowledge, fortitude, counsel, understanding, and wisdom. Trying to do the Lord's work in your own strength is the most confusing, exhausting, and tedious of all work. But when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, then the ministry of Jesus just flows out of you. Corey Ten Boom, Boom, 